The movie starts by featuring Bud Yablonski, who is a pool cleaner in Los Angeles. He will lose his family if he does not earn a large sum of money, most precisely, $10,000. That is to say, he needs this money to stop his estranged wife, Jocelyn Yablonski, from moving with their daughter. So, he works the pool cleaning shift during the day and serves as a vampire hunter to sell their fangs and head to earn money. Therefore, he does this simultaneously in the hustle to earn more money. One day, he was hired by an old woman, who is a senior citizen, to clean her pool. Bud realizes that the old lady who hired him is certainly a vampire. As we know by now that Bud is a vampire hunter, he pulls out his shotgun from a bag and searches for the old lady inside the house. During this search, he sets up traps to ease the process of catching the vampire up. When the old lady finds Bud intruding inside her house with his black mask on, Bud looks back and shoots the old lady. The shot itself throws the old lady's feet apart and shatters the glass of her bathroom. At first, Bud surmises that the lady is dead, but the lady transitions to her vampire state and gets back up on her feet, fixing all the bullet wounds she had on her body. She aggressively attacks Bud. Then, Bud defends himself by fighting the lady and applies different strategies to do so effectively. He had shot the woman already but failed, so he tries to stab the old lady but her defensive capabilities outplay Bud's attack. As a result of failing to think of another way quickly, he shoots the lady many times, but she recovers back up. Then, after minutes of a fierce fight, he breaks her bones. Finally, Bud manages to throw her to the ground, breaking her bones each time, and then sits on top of the lady to mutilate her head, which kills her this time. The old woman's son, Michael, who is also a vampire, hears all of this and bashes open his door to attack Bud to save his mother. This time, the adjacent doorway has a trap already set up by Bud, when he initially began hunting for the old lady. The trap slits open the throat of Michael and he dies. Bud extracts the fangs out of the heads of the vampires with pliers and promises them a fortune. In the next scene, Audrey San Fernando, is a vampire, potentially a wealthy real estate tycoon who has plans for the vampire community of Los Angeles. She is shown holding the umbrella in the bright daylight, torturing a vampire criminal whose name is Sasha. Subsequently, Bud gets back home, he cleans himself up and puts fresh clothes on to avoid anyone from seeing bloodstains from the fight he had with the vampires. He then picks up his daughter, Paige, from the elementary school she is studying in. Bud takes Paige out for frozen yogurt and they return home late at night after having a good time. Bud and his wife no longer live together as they both share an estranged relationship. Jocelyn Yablonski, Bud's wife flies to her mother's place with Paige. Bud having known the thought that he is going to give his daughter up, begs Jocelyn to grant him some more time window for him to pay the amount to her. Bud expects that the fangs that he gathered by killing the old lady vampire and her son, Michael, will bring him a huge sum of money, expectedly $10,000. Such amount of money will be enough for paying for his daughter's braces, her tuition, and his debts. Bud promises Jocelyn that he will pay the said amount by any means possible. Jocelyn suspects that Bud will make a fool out of her this time as well same as he did with the lies, which is why they ended up living separately. However, Jocelyn ends up giving her a chance this time as well. Bud visits a pawn shop owner named Troy. They both have a conversation and it comes to the conscience of Bud that he has been removed from the union, which is a vampire hunting group. This used to be a position for Bud where he knew he can make the most out of vampire hunting and selling fangs. However, Bud is offered an amount by Troy which is not sufficient to help him get through his financial troubles. Given the current situation, Bud is pulled back to the idea of rejoining the union. Bud texts his old friend named Big John Elliot to meet him the day after. Next up, Audrey tells her business partner not to back off from the agreement that they have consented to and warns him that he will face the same consequences as Sasha did. She visits the old lady vampire's house for whose death Bud was responsible, with her attendant, Klaus. After observing the mutilated head of the old lady, Audrey intends and swears to seek vengeance from whoever caused the death, Bud finally meets with his friend, Big John and they enter the building of the Union. They meet Ralph Seeger, who is the head of the union. At first, Ralph denies referring to how Bud had been recently removed from the union because of his unsafe and forceful hunting style for the vampires, and also the rules that he had broken while remaining in the union. Under stern circumstances, Bud is given one last chance to work in the union. However, he must only work during the day shift, which pays low and is less dangerous than the night shift. During this course, he is supposed to be supervised by a representative of the union named Seth for Seth to get a promotion. All Seth has to do is observe the actions of Bud and see if he violates any rules of the union. Audrey's search for the killer of the dead vampires begins and she stumbles across Troy. 
she interrogates him and tortures him at the same time. During this time, she uncovers that people used to love vampires as divine beings. Audrey plans to re-establish the same order by building homes and utilizing them to lay out vampire provinces so she can gather up an army full of vampires. Ultimately, Troy gets killed by Audrey. Seth and Bud set off for their first mission. Bud tells Seth to remain in the car while he goes out for the hunt. Seeger calls Seth up and forces him to go inside to check if Bud is potentially breaking any rules of the Union. After the fierce battle inside the premises between Bud and the vampire, Seth is terrified, so much so that he becomes nauseous and vomits. After seeing the horrified version of Seth, Bud calms him down and offers to drive the car back to his place. Bud returns to his place. Soon as he is climbing the stairs, he meets Heather, who is his new neighbor and works as a nurse. The next day when Seth and Bud meet up in Bud's car, Bud finds out that Seth has been keeping a track of the set of protocol violations that he has committed as a piece of evidence. They set off to Troy's pawn shop, but they find out that Troy has been killed and his teeth have been extracted to carve the name Bud on the same table he was tortured next to. In the next scene, Bud intimates to Seth that he has to support his family with the earnings that he makes during his day shift which is exactly why violations have taken place, upon which Seth tells Bud that he will not report them to Seeger. The duo sets off for the next mission and during this, they cross paths with Nazarian brothers, who claim that they do repairing work related to audio. They all work together to eradicate a vampire nest. After that, Bud drives to Paige's school to pick her up. As Bud experiences backlashes because of the day shift, he asks if Paige would like to stay inside when they have returned home. Jocelyn hesitantly says that Paige has been waiting to go to a birthday party and that Bud is supposed to accompany her while she attends the party. Bud and Paige go to the party. Bud receives a call from Audrey who threatens his family and informs him that the old lady he killed was Audrey's daughter. Bud escorts Paige out of the party and puts headphones, plugged into the iPod, on her ears while she sits in the car. Audrey's men begin to chase both Bud and Paige, however, Bud manages to slit the throat of one of these men present in the parking place. The scene is then followed when an intense car chase while Paige sits in the back of the car with her headphones on. Bud escapes the intensified chase and rushes Paige to Jocelyn at her place. Once Bud enters the house, he finds out that Audrey and her men have encircled the premises of the house and they have already been anticipating him there. They have held Jocelyn hostage at this stage. Fettered by emotions and the extraordinary situation, Bud tells his family that he works as a vampire hunter. Bud is knocked out and he becomes unconscious. When he wakes up, he finds out that Seth has turned into a vampire because of the bite that a vampire gave him. Unable to control his vampire affections, Seth attacks Bud soon as he gets hungry. Bud defends himself and ends up cutting his head of Seth off. This doesn't affect Seth much and he manages to stay alive even after his head cut. Nevertheless, they drive off to Bud's house to team up with Heather, with whom Bud has shared his secrets. It comes to the knowledge of Bud that Heather too has been transformed into a vampire by Audrey. This led to a fight between Heather and Bud soon after which Heather intimates that he had killed Audrey's daughter who had become a vampire when she had turned old. Meanwhile, Bud's family is brought by Klaus and Audrey to a secret hideout located in a temple. Heather also tells Bud that Audrey is expanding her empire by purchasing property across Los Angeles. With two potential outcast vampires on Bud's side, Bud plans to attack Audrey's army. At a shopping center, Seth, Bud, and Heather are attacked by Audrey's army and they fight it with their fullest effort. At a point when all three of them are cornered, they are joined by Big John, who uses his minigun to take down Audrey's men. Bud and Big John enter the laboratory where they see vampires hired to manufacture and make vampire sunscreen. They both see them as a threat, so they take out all of them. With the vampire sense that Klaus owns, he detects the presence of Bud and intimates to Audrey about Bud's presence in the hideout. Soon as Big John and Bud are making their way to the hideout, they are countered by several zombies which leads to a fierce fight scene. However, Big John gets bitten. Bud passes through the gate of the hideout, but Big John is left behind, he locks himself up and tells Bud to find his family. After acknowledging this, Bud leaves to protect his family. Big John then pulls out his revolver from the holster and kills the vampires approaching him. He sacrifices himself him detonating the explosive that is attached to his belt, which kills him and the remaining vampires. Bud is attacked by Klaus who grabs him by his neck, but soon after, Klaus and Seth come to the rescue by breaking through the ceiling of the hideout. They try to fight Klaus, but after a while, it becomes evident that Klaus is no match for them. Bud sees that Audrey has held his family hostage, so he goes by to attack Audrey, but he miserably fails in his attempt due to the strength and speed that Audrey had.
Jocelyn sneaks behind Audrey at the instant when she is just about to give a deathly bite to Bud and stabs her in her back with a wooden stick. This has a nominal effect on Audrey and throws Jocelyn away and also kicks away Bud across the place. Meanwhile, Seth and Heather rip Klaus's arms off when he tries to smother them. With only one bullet left in his pistol, Bud shoots Audrey in the back of her head. However, the bullet does not affect her as well. Audrey rushes towards Bud to kill him but gets her head beheaded because of the wired trap Bud has cleverly placed. Bud saves his family and extracts them out of the hideout. Seeger arrives at the hideout with his men from the Union. Seeger tries to throw numerous violation allegations on him, which are rebutted by Seth. Seeger replies to Seth that he will not be promoted, to which Seth replies that he will work as a vampire hunter with Bud. Seeger leaves. Meanwhile, Jocelyn agrees to Bud moving back in together on the condition that he will stay honest with her and quit lying. In the ending scene, it is shown that Big John climbs out of a manhole located inside a street. This can lead to two conclusions, either he has fully survived or has become a vampire after all. Subscribe for more videos like this, turn on the notification, and leave a like to help the channel out. Thanks for watching.